Welcome back, all you beautiful thinking people, you, to Advocation X. We actually are the new Xers. We're not a new generation. We're Advocation Xers. We are people who believe in freedom of speech, freedom of expression, the ability to fight amongst yourselves and keep it peaceful. But it's okay if it's strenuous too. You can vehemently disagree with each other and still love each other. Could that be the topic of my today's rant, December 14th, 2023? It could be. And I can just tell you this. Freedom of speech is the only thing you will have when they take everything else away from you. Yes, that's right. They can't take your soul. Can't steal your soul. But guess what? If they crush your speech, they will take everything else. And I hope you're happy living with just your soul. Not having the ability to say anything you'd like or to anybody you would like. When you watch people around you being abused and broken and unable to, to speak back, unable to say, hey, what are you doing to them? Because you allowed it to happen. Freedom of speech, although you may not realize it every single minute of the day, you do not like being told when you've done something wrong, do you? But guess what? It's an integral part of being a human being who progresses and goes further in their life. If you don't hear the criticism, if you block it out, if you make sure that everybody who comes around you is bound by an agreement to say only nice things about you, you're such a sweetheart. Oh my gosh, you're great. You're fabulous. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You are so fit. You are so lovely. Oh my Lord, I've never seen a sexier soul in my life. You're destined for failure. Because you're going to come up against a group who are not there to feed your ego. And you're going to have to live with that. It's going to devastate you. Now, let me give you a small example. My children, I love them dearly. All of them. Regardless of my relationship with any one of them or all of them. I love them all dearly. But I can tell you this. Some of them have grown up not knowing who they were. They were basically living a semi-lie. And then reality set in. And other people around them let them know what their racial biases were. They were devastated. They were shocked. They resorted to physical violence because it bothered them so much. I understand, but it could have been avoided. Don't block out people who have dissenting information for you. That information could save your life, your future, your everything. Knowledge is power. If you live under an umbrella, you may never know it's raining. I mean, it's that simple. It is that simple. You want to protect yourself from devastation. I understand that totally. There's only so much you can take. But then you have to come back and you have to take more. That's how you grow. We all grow and progress under adversity. We don't grow in an environment where everybody says everything we do is perfect. If everything we said and everything we did and everybody thing we are is perfect, why would people be going to school? Why would people choose different careers? Why would people choose different spouses? We'd all be after the same spouse. We'd all be after the same one house. I seriously want you to appreciate those people around you who say the uncomfortable things that you don't want to hear. I didn't say you have to like them. I didn't say you have to love them. Appreciate them. Because what they're bringing you is a point of view that may inform your point of view. It may agree, it may not. But at least you're going to have two perspectives that you can choose between which pieces and bits and parts go together well for you for you you can choose to just 
hey, look, I don't care. I'm going to listen to the narrative and it's comfortable for me because I don't have to fight with anybody and I don't have to argue. You don't have to fight or argue anyway. You don't. Seriously. You know what? I think we should go back to horse and buggy. Yeah, I can almost hear some of you right now. Some of you are laughing. Some of you are indignant. Some of you are saying things like, what, is he stupid? Is he crazy? Why would we ever go there? Well, guess what? I can make an argument for why we should go back to horse and buggy. It doesn't have to be the best argument. It doesn't have to be perfect. But it's my argument. Do you agree? Or do you not agree? Like, honestly, tell me the truth. Does my opinion matter any less than yours? There's some people out there that will say, no, no. Everybody should go on a, on a one-wheeled electric scooter. And why, they'll tell you? Because it's economical. It doesn't pollute the air with its fumes and exhaust and all these other things and the dripping of oils and blah, blah, blah. And you go, yeah, but come on. We can't all go around on one-wheeled scooters. Guess what? That's an opinion. His is an opinion based on, or hers, is an opinion based on the fact that they're proficient at one-wheeled scooters. Your opinion is based on the premise that you're horrible at one-wheeled scooters. And you'd prefer to be on a horse or in a buggy. Or you'd prefer to be in a steam engine or a gas car or a hydrogen car or an electric car or a hybrid car. I don't care. It's your opinion and you're entitled to it. And guess what? If you're willing to express it to me, I should take that as some sort of a compliment that you have any appreciation for my opinion that you would share yours with me. Because that invokes conversation where now you'll hear my opinion. Now you have two sources of information. And the next person that you feel comfortable enough to trust your opinion to might give you a third version of the story. Please, everybody, follow the lead of those 500,000 Quebecers who just walked off and took a stand against a government that is more willing to spend money on anything but its people. Anything but its people. Well, guess what? Stand up for those people and stand up for yourselves. Your opinion matters. And if you hide your opinion, I don't know who you are. And I'm saying this sincerely. Those of you who hide your opinions about everything, I don't know who you are. You're showing me a facade, a mask, an image that you want to portray to me, but it's not you. When I get you behind closed doors alone, and we have a conversation, you start to tell me the truth of how you really feel. And even then, you don't tell me everything. You hold back bits and pieces. We know why we do that, because in the civilized world, we do not want to cause unnecessary strife and stress. I forgive you. Forgive yourself. Forgive your family. Forgive your friends. Forgive the stranger on the bus, or the one in the cab or the one wherever you were that said something you didn't agree with and all you did was trash them after that because you thought that's what people wanted to see. They wanted to see your image of being, you know, duty bound and right there with them and agreeing with everything that they agree with, whether they really agree with it or not. They just want to hear it because what? The appearance of being nice while doing evil is what's easiest for us. How about this? Appear to be you. Hold back just enough so you're not causing huge offense out there everywhere in the world. But get your point across. Because your opinion does matter. And I mean that. It really does matter. Okay? I have a lovely family member who constantly tries to remind me that I need to take care of my health because it's it's more important than anything in the world. You've got to have your health. And I say, you're absolutely right. But there's some time when we have to sacrifice 
the chance of losing our health to help some others. Do you remember the old doctors that used to do house calls? Didn't matter what you had or how sick you were, they came. No, that's right. You probably don't remember. It's only people in and around my age group and older who mostly have all passed. Well, they remember those days if they're still around. Okay? It didn't matter if you had leprosy. It didn't matter what you had. They came and did their best to help you. Why? Because they were willing to sacrifice their own health to try to help others be better. And if they were successful with you, they could be successful with themselves if they caught what you had. That was the oath they took and the way they administered their power. Folks, the least you can do is express your opinion and allow others to express theirs. Don't shut them down. Don't make them feel like they are unworthy, like they are less than anyone else and they don't have a right to an opinion. Of course they do. Don't tell somebody they don't have the right to their own research. Of course they have a right. And that research they do just might help you. Just learn how to listen. All of you. Learn how to listen. <laughs> I don't believe that I actually have to tell people this. I grew up in Montreal. Where, you know what? We were all very opinionated. This is when people stood up in class and said things to the teacher about, I don't believe that. Prove it to me. Show me where that came from. And the teachers did their best to teach you. Now, if you say anything against the teachers, oh, that's it. You've hurt my feelings. I'm going to the principal. You're going to the principal too. And you're like, okay, I don't really care. Let's go. And the principal says, shame on you. You can't talk back to your teachers. And well, principal, I didn't talk back. I asked a question. I asked for the teacher to prove to me the lessons that we are being taught. Is that not what a teacher is supposed to do? Oh, don't talk back to me. You'll get the strap. <laughs> Jeez. That was... <laughs> oh, my Lord. Anyway, folks, please, please, never give up. Never give in. But always keep an open mind because knowledge is your friend. And it's the only way you're going to gather any kind of power in this world is by gathering that knowledge. So... Keep an open mind. Let the information flow in and let your information flow out. Share your ideas with the people. And uh, do me a favor. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And above all, stay as happy as humanly possible.